Good day everyone, welcome to another edition of the Open Heavens for Teenagers. Today's date is October 10th and our topic today is think of the future. Before we continue, shall we say a word of prayer? Amen. Amen. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Colossians 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of God. The Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Now, our topic refers to thinking of our future. First, what is the future? The future is something that you plan ahead of you, something that is in front of you and you set goals to achieve them. And we need to have plans for our future, what we want to become, doctors or lawyers. And one of the most important things that we should, we should refer it to God's name. We should thank Him, we should do things that glorify His name so that our future can be a great future. And she should also make sure the kind of activities we do to achieve those future are what glorifies God. Now, our devotional. As a student in the school of life who pays attention to details, it can tell you that everything has a past, a present, and a future. However, many people live only for the present under the deals that Jesus said in Matthew 6, verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. I want to advise our teenagers that our tomorrow will be alright. We should just calm down. We should, you know, um, try to achieve our goals and plans and fulfill God's purpose for your life. Then our tomorrow shall be great and we will have a great future if we follow God's instructions. Furthermore, we need to recognize the fact that our activities of the present can affect our future. The things we do in the present are what make up our future. There are some things that we have done in the past that we will be like, had I known, I would have not done this. Those things have affected our present. So right now, we need to work on our present to make sure that they don't affect our future. And we need to carry God along. So as you move forward, you need to carefully think about your decisions for your future. You need to, you need to evaluate your decisions. There must be a balance between everything we do. And from our, from our open heavens, Luke 14, verse 28, for which of you, intending to build a tower, seated not thou first, and counted to the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it. So we need to put God ahead of our plans and plan it in a great way. My dear child, the future ahead of you is very great. Hence, you need to carefully consider your thoughts, your words, and your actions now. If you choose to do things wisely and discipline yourself, I can assure you that your future will be bright. Our key point says, don't engage in activities that will jeopardize your future. Like I said earlier, the kind of activities you do can also affect your future. Sinful acts, distractions, and all of that. So, if we discipline ourselves, if we are com committed to whatever we do, we can achieve a great future. Let us take a word of prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King of kings, eternal rock of ages, I will be putting God. Father, we give you the adoration. Father, I want to thank you for everything that you have done and everything that you're going to do for us. We ask that as we move forward, that you should plan our future for us and make us to be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We thank you for what you have done in our lives and what you are going to do in just one thing, my friend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.